everyone. I, Richie Gupta, working as an assistant professor, Department of Pharmacognosy, in Sivandi College of Pharmaceutical Education, Indore. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the introduction of urine, alcohols, pharmacognostic study of tea, and extraction, isolation, and analysis of cattle. So, let us start from urine. Purine alkaloids consist of six member pyrimidine ring fused to a five member imidazole ring. This is our structure of purine alkaloids. This is six member pyrimidine ring fused with five member imidazole ring. So purine ring contain four nitrogen atoms. Then, purine is derived into xanthine. This is the structure of xanthine. Here, uh, oxygen atom is attached and there is also oxygen atom is attached, then converted into xanthine moiety. Xanthine does not occur in free state. Okay? So, an example of xanthine derivative. First, caffeine. Chemically, it is chemically 137 prime with halxanthine. It is shown stimulant effect. Then, next, theobromine. It is chemically 37 prime with halxanthine. It is shown diuretic effect. Theophyllin. It is chemically 13 dye It is shown stimulant and diuretic effect and it is also so smooth muscles relaxing property. Then eosine monophosphate and xanthosine monophosphate are two precursors for the biosynthesis of pubic. Then they give the murexine color reaction positive. That means it show positive reaction with murexide reagent. Then they show strong effect on CNS acting as a stimulant. So it is used in the treatment of so it is used in the natural treatment of a coma. And effect on kidney show as a diabetic effect then in smooth muscles so show relax the smooth muscles and effect on liver work as a antioxidant because it is contain a lot of phenolic components then next pharmacology of purine carbon Purina plant acts on phosphodye and gen and it and inhibits its activity. So this causes the increase the production of cyclic AMP and release adrenaline. Then next now we will now we study pharmacognostic study of tea. It is also known as Camellia tea. It is obtained from dry leaves and leaves work of Thea sinensis belonging to Theasi family. Geographical source of Thea or tea. It is cultivated in India Sri Lanka, China, Indonesia, and Japan. It is available as a black tea or green tea. When it is available as a black tea from India and Sri Lanka. Black tea is obtained by fermenting the heap of fresh tea leaves and further dry 
by artificial heat. And it is available in a green tea from China and Japan. Green tea is obtained by putting tea leaves in a copper pan. Then and then uh, dry by artificial heat. Then macroscopic character of tea. Its leaf dark green in color and it is charismatic in order and it is bitter in taste. Then chemical constituent of tea. It contains catechin. It is a flavonoid derivative. Other catechin like negative ethyl catechin gallic that is ECG then negative epi catechin EC then negative epi gallo catechin EGC and negative epi gallo catechin gallo that is EGCG green tea contain more catechin compared to black tea green tea and black tea both are the major source or good source of vitamin C. Then it is contained gallo tannin in 15% which is responsible for the color of green tea leaves. And yellow volatile oil is also present which is responsible for the agreeable odor. And it is also contained enzymatic with the mixture that is Thiers enzyme. Then some purine alkaloid are also present. So that is caffeine is the chief constituent of the tea present in 1 to 3 percent and theobromine and theophyllin and theobromine both are present very less quantity. Amino acid, carbohydrate, protein, chlorophyll, chloride, aluminum and minerals are present very less quantity. Then now we will study caffeine in detail. So caffeine is a xanthine alkaloid or xanthine derivative. Its molecular formula C8 H10 oxygen 2 and N4. Caffeine is obtained from dried dried fruit of coffee arabica and coffee lebrica and belongs to Robiaceae family. Then physical property of caffeine. Caffeine is a white in color and it is hygroscopic crystalline solid then it is orderless, it is bitter in taste. Its density 1.23 gram, then melting point 235 degree, and it is decomposed at high temperature. It is freely soluble in water, alcohol, chloroform, and ether. Caffeine is a weak base and, and uh, uh, it's a soluble drink in water is sharply increased in the presence of benzene, bromide, citric acid and salicylate. Then isolation method of caffeine. Take 10 gram leaves then Add distilled water, then boil it for 30 minutes by decoction method, then cool and filter. Filter it is open, then add 100 ml chloroform. So then separate the chloroform layer and it is evaporated. So white crystalline, white crystals of caffeine is obtained at the bottom. 
Then next, identification test of caffeine. Caffeine identified by neurexide test or thalia chromatography. A neurexide test takes sample and add hydrochloric acid and potassium chloride. Heat it until it get dry and this dry powder exposed to dilute ammonia. Then purple color is indicate the presence of caffeine. Then it is also identified by three air chromatography in which silica gel G is used as a stationary phase, chloroform or methanol in 9 is to 1 ratio is used as a mobile phase and iodine chamber is used as detecting agent in which brown uh, color spot is produced. Then scaffolding analyzed by isocreative elision method in which C18 column is used as a stationary phase, methanol or water, 25 to 75 combination is used as a mobile phase and UV visible uh, detection is used for the detection in which 254 nanometer wavelength is used. Then uses of caffeine. It is used as a CNS stimulant due to its cerebral contractions effect and it is also used in the treatment of mind.